What is going on everyone? My name is Josh and today I got a brand new unboxing going on. Now the shoe is not new. It did not come out this year. It came out last year, but it's new to me. Adidas actually did a shock drop when I was about to jump in the shower not too long ago, probably a couple days, and they dropped four Adidas's, Yeezy's obviously, that were restocking. And I happened to grab this one. Now I'm kind of mad because I thought I had time to grab all of them. Like I was literally about to grab all four of them. But I happened to grab this one and I mean the shoe's not bad. The Citroen, it's not my favorite. I should have definitely grabbed the other ones first, but I was just kind of like, I gotta go, I gotta go quick. So I was just going, and then right when I did that, all the others sold out. But luckily, I did grab something from this. Now, I'm not gonna keep these. I'm trying to resell them. Resale value isn't a little high right now, and it was just kind of to make a little side cash. But at the same time, I might also keep them if they don't resell. Normally what I do is if I buy a shoe and it doesn't resell within like a month or two, and I know that like it's supposed to or you know just something like some shoes you buy and you hold for a long time like the fear of God ones that just dropped the other day the Nike ones you got to hold those for a while those are gonna go up in price now like Yeezy's on the other hand you kind of flip within like a week or two unless somehow Nike just like shock dropped uh, another Adidas Yeezy which probably is never gonna happen but these are the shoes the Citrons are currently going at 250 on resale right now, size 10. Size 10 at 250, retail was around 230 with tax and shipping, 233 maybe. The shoe did come out uh, September 23rd of 2019, so it is a little old, but nonetheless, it is still a great shoe and we're gonna get right into it. All right guys, so upon opening the box, it's very simple, just like any Yeezy that you always buy, they're always laid in there, all that good stuff, all that. This is the shoe. Now, one of my favorite aspects of it, if I had to pick one, would be the fact that it doesn't have the back on it. Now, it's not that I don't like the ones with the back, because I know I have a couple, or I've had a couple, you know, sold some, whatever, that had the back. I don't hate it. Sometimes I think they're very clean without it. But overall, the shoe's not a bad color. I think a lot of people hate on it for whatever reason whatsoever. My favorite is this little line right here, as you can see. It's like kind of like a neon, and obviously all V2s are kind of see-through at some point. So... I really love these so much, 350 V2s, not just all V2s, but 350s. I don't mind these, they're not bad, like I think the bottoms look pretty cool because it's not like your typical brown, it's kind of like it looks like almost a salmon color, obviously, and uh, it's not a bad shoe, let's get close up with it. I'm never doing that again. Alright guys, here's a close up of the shoe, and honestly it does not look too bad, I don't think a lot of people give this shoe enough credit for what it is. It's definitely a little different, but that's not anything bad considering the new 700s that drop are literally all neon and still everybody loves them. So I like the colors in this. I mean, it could be a little better, but we can't complain. We have to take what we got and go. Now, like I said, my favorite part is that little like that neon strap and the salmon colorway for the bottoms right there, the soles. Looks pretty good, obviously that's the box, as always, standard Adidas box, they all come like that. At least the Adidas Easy ones. And uh, yeah guys, I mean, let me know what you think of the shoe. I don't hate it, I don't mind keeping it as like a personal if it doesn't resell. That's definitely like, it wasn't my go-to like, oh my god I have to resell this. It's more like, I bought my size to try and resell and if it doesn't and it kind of flops, it kind of has to be an in-hand sale for it to do good to be honest with you, but I guess we will see. But overall, the shoe is not bad. I don't mind it, and I definitely wouldn't mind keeping it for the personal. The goal is just to get rid of it, though. But we will see. Maybe if you see me wearing it, wearing it later, then, you know, <laughs> I didn't sell it, and I just decided to keep it. But you gotta have a very specific outfit for this shoe, so if you do plan on buying this shoe, make sure you have an outfit planned already, because if it's not all black, then it's not gonna go good together unless you have those colors. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. All right guys, those were the Yeezy 350 V2 Citroen Boost. Now, let me know what you guys think down below. Like I said, bought them to resell. I don't really recommend it. It was kind of more or less like I saw them drop. I know they're not going for retail online, so it's one of those things that regardless if I was gonna buy this shoe, it would have been better for me to buy it on the shock drop rather than through a reseller. But, I mean, I think the colors could go really good for a, maybe like a light green fit. If you guys did not know, I own a clothing company. Link right there. Go check it out. But I could definitely make a hoodie going with that. And that's one of the perks about owning a clothing company or just knowing someone who does. Because if you ever need any clothes for like a specific fit, 
you always got to connect for it. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. I really love the 350 V2s. I don't mind this colorway. Would I rather resell it? Yes. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, if you're going to buy this shoe, pre-plan an outfit or know someone that has a clothing company, like your boy right here. So if you need any custom clothes, hit me up. It won't be custom, it'd be with our designs, but I got you on some one-of-one -one colorways. I've done that before for a couple people, because I know you very much so need a specific hoodie for this, or a shirt. I've done it before mine. I made like a bright neon hoodie, specifically for my Pusha T Oswego shoes. Like literally, it's pretty much the same color neon as that, and it, <laughs> I mean, that's the only time I'm gonna wear it is with these, with these shoes, so I mean, you might as well. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you guys in the next unboxing video. Peace.